Hi all, Jeanette here and right now I'm out in the building where we raise the ducks for the first six weeks of their lives. And during that time period that the ducks were in here, we got uh, some quail and we put them in this stack cage right here and there's a triple stack cage and uh, we've got some in each tier and we've had them in here, we bought them for five weeks ago. We've had them in here ever since then. But uh, when we bought them, they were one week old. So they're about six weeks old, which is when they're supposed to start laying eggs. Uh, we want to get them moved out. We're preparing a pen for them. And I just uh, invite you to come along with us and see what we're doing. Thanks for joining us. Okay, in here is where we're going to put the uh, quail pen on that wall right behind me. And the ducks will make so much noise that I'll probably just have to video and turn the sound off because you won't be able to hear anything anyway. But here we go. Going to use these uh, five pound feeders for our quail as we move them. I think they, we won't have to get inside to fill them, and I think they'll stay a lot cleaner than the other feeders. Okay. The pens that we had already, they were set up for these feeders. And so that makes it a pretty easy situation to, to put them together. Okay, so we got the pins all set up. Let's go see if we can catch some quail and bring them in. Okay, we took 18 quail total out of here, which leaves 15 eight in one pen and seven in the other. Our intention is to uh, butcher them probably before too long. I think they're probably about big enough when they're about six weeks old is when they're butchering age and size. Well, we got the quail moved. I wanted to show it on video, but it was just kind of chaotic and uh, didn't happen. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But uh, I'll show you the, the quail we've got pinned up here. We've got two pins that are five feet long, 30 inches deep, and then um, two feet tall, I believe is the way it goes. We've got seven females and two males in each pin. And I think they'll have plenty of room and be nice and happy. Uh, it has one half by one inch flooring on the bottom. And so here's another little treat that we found. When we were moving them, there were two eggs in there. There were actually three eggs, but one was a smashed one that didn't have a shell on it. But look, aren't they cool? I'm just loving these little quail eggs. Can't wait to eat them and see what they taste like. And so far, the ducks are all just cool about the whole thing. They made quite a bit of noise while we were building the pen in here, but they're all laying down right now. I've never seen them laying down quite so quietly. Thanks for joining us, uh, getting the quail moved, and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.